This is a presentation of the ACFR conductor developed by Toker Rope International. ACFR is an innovative high temperature low sag conductor with a stranded carbon fiber core. Most overhead lines today have conventional type conductors installed, such as ACSR. They have a large thermal expansion, they have limited operational temperature, they have a heavy steel core, and they may suffer from corrosion. At the same time, the TSOs and utilities have challenges in regards to a huge electrical demand, environmental concerns, SAC violations, right-of-way issues, construction cost and duration. The ACFR conductor is an excellent solution to solve these problems. It has high transmission capacity, low SAC, low losses, it has a long life, and it's easy to handle and install. The ACFR conductor features a seven-strand carbon fiber composite core called CFCC. It makes the conductor flexible and robust. The aluminum can be fully annealed O-temper or it can be thermal resistant aluminum. We have trapezoidal shaped wires or round wires. It's easy to install using conventional equipment and the hardware is conventional design as well. The carbon fiber composite cable used as the core in ACFR conductors was actually initially developed for the civil construction industry to be used, for example, in bridges. The development started already in the early 1980s and it was used for the first time in 1986 for a pre-tension concrete bridge in Japan. Other projects follow in the region and in 2001 the first project was installed in the United States. The use of CFCC for civil construction projects continues to this day. But around the turn of the century, it was realized that the stranded carbon fiber cable would be an excellent call for overhead conductors and the ACFR conductor was developed. The first ACFR conductors was then installed in Japan in 2002. And this was in fact the first installation in the world using a conductor containing carbon fibers. It's been in successful operation ever since. Other projects followed with ACFR and eventually two new CFCC dedicated factories were built, one in the United States in 2016 and one in Japan just a couple of years ago. And as a result of the added focus on ACFR over the last few years, we are now seeing a significant increase in projects activity worldwide. The normal type CFCC used in civil construction applications use a polymer matrix compound with a temperature rating of 130 degrees Celsius. But for ACFR conductor use, the compound is rated at 180 degrees for continuous operation and 200 degrees for emergency operation. The individual strands are manufactured as small as 2.6 millimeters in diameter and up to 5 millimeters. This makes it possible to provide core sizes from 5.3 millimeters and up to more than 21 millimeters. And we have about 20 sizes in between there. This means that the cores are suitable all the way from very small, flexible, even distribution size conductors through more normal transmission size conductors and all the way up to very strong special conductors for long spans. With a core rating of up to almost 600 kilonewtons and at only 20% of the weight of steel, make this core very suitable for long spans, for example, river crossings. There are several options when choosing the aluminum for the ACFR conductors, making it a very flexible solution. The traditional round wire design is still chosen by some, but more and more will choose a conductor with a trapezoidal shaped aluminum wire. 
Basically, this will remove the air gaps between the wires and replace it with aluminum. This means that about 20% more aluminum can be added without changing the diameter. This will increase the rating and conductivity significantly and reduce the losses as well, and this without increasing the wind or ice loading. Alternatively, the diameter can be reduced by about 10%, while still maintaining the same cross-section of aluminum and that means maintaining the same conductivity and almost the same rating and at the same time the wind and ice loading will be lowered. The aluminum can be fully annealed old temper for ACFR designs with the lowest possible losses, lowest sag and highest opacity rating. The conductivity of old temper aluminum is around 63%, but the strength is also relatively low. If additional strength or elastic modulus is desired, a thermal alloy can be used. The conductivity of high temperature A3 alloy, for example, is 60%, but the strength is two or three times more than the old temper aluminum. A thermal alloy is often not needed for our ACFR conductors because the cores are so strong. However, it should be kept in mind that typically 85 to 90 percent of the conductor area is in fact aluminum, so it will definitely play a significant role in the overall strength. Let us look at how the basic design process works for ACFR conductors, keeping in mind the parameters that we have looked at. The graph shows the sag as a function of the conductor temperature. The blue curve is conventional ACSR conductor. The orange curve shows an ACFR conductor with a thermal aluminum alloy. The green curve is ACFR with a fully annealed aluminum. All the parameters such as span length, tension, wind load, etc. are the same, so this represents a realistic reconductoring scenario, or study for a new line for that matter. If we start by looking at the blue curve for ACSR, as the temperature increases, the sag increases determined by the combined coefficient of thermal expansion for steel and aluminum. The aluminum expands at a rate twice that of steel and there's a point when the aluminum no longer supports the conductor because it has elongated more. The knee point is now reached and the expansion is now only governed by the steel core. In this case the knee point for ACSR conductor is just below 80 Celsius. It can be seen that until the knee point is reached the thermal expansion is almost the same for the ACFR conductors as well as the ACSR conductors. It's governed mainly by the aluminum expansion. Keep in mind that 85-90% of the conductor is aluminum. Since the core of the ACFR is significantly lighter than steel, the ACFR can be installed higher at the same tension initially which will result in more room for sag. This is why the ACFR curve starts lower. For ACFR with the thermal aluminum, this is the orange curve, the knee point is about the same, just above 80 Celsius. However, since the expansion of the carbon fiber core is less than 10% of steel, the sag barely increases with temperature above the knee point. With the soft aluminum in the ACFR with old temper, the knee point is much lower, the green curve, and in this case the knee point is around 30 Celsius, and so the extremely low expansion of the carbon fiber core can be taken advantage of to a greater degree. If the ACSR represent the maximum sag, in this case, we could have increased the size of the ACFR conductors. In particular, the old temper version can be seen to have a lot of extra room for sag. But this is just to illustrate the design process. On the next page, we will 
show a more specific example that has been optimized. Now we are looking at a conventional ACSR Zebra installation where we will keep all the parameters at the same level, including the conductor diameter. We will show two cases. One is optimized for the lowest possible losses and the other is optimized for the highest possible ampacity rating. Of course, anything in between these two is possible. The low loss solution will allow us to increase the aluminum area from the 430 square millimeters of the Zebra to 542 square millimeters, and thereby we can reduce the operating temperature and losses at the same current rating. We can decrease the losses by as much as 26% this way. The high capacity solution will have 494 square millimeters of aluminum, so not quite as much extra aluminum as the low loss solution, but we can then have a larger and stronger core, and we can thereby increase the capacity to 218%. One of the advantages of ACFR conductors is that installation can be done quite similarly to conventional conductors. Because of the flexible stranded core of ACFR, the contractor's existing payoff, bull wheels and blocks and other equipment can be used and extra costs can be avoided. We only have a couple of additional recommendations, which is just as much due to the fact that the ACFR conductor will often have fully annealed aluminum, which is soft. We recommend using a long Kellen grip to better transfer the pulling forces from the aluminum down to the core. In addition, as a precaution, we also recommend to install a special core grip, as can be seen on the picture. For tensioning, we recommend to use Chicago grips and as described in client tools, the guidelines for fully annealed aluminum. For medium to large conductors, these grips are relatively long. For smaller conductor, two smaller grips in tandem is recommended. Of course, the fully annealed aluminum in general requires more care because it's soft and more prone to scratching. We do not recommend dragging it on the ground, and also the equipment should be lined and in good working condition. We will provide a detailed installation manual. The two-piece compression fittings are also conventional in design and quite similar to ACSR. The only difference, in addition to a larger size due to the increased currents, is the addition of a small soft aluminum tube to be installed over the core. This will act as a cushion when compressing the steel cork grips. Several fitting manufacturers have already supplied fittings for the ACFR conductors. Both PLP and AFL have a full line of fittings for all the ACFR conductors. The installation process usually starts with an inspection of the equipment that is intended to be used well in advance of the job start. This is just a precaution to make sure that the equipment is indeed suitable for use and in the unlikely event that it is not, there will be time to make other arrangements. This can be performed by reviewing photos as well if needed. The training of the crews consists of about half a day in the classroom where all the installation steps are covered. Then we will move on to hands-on training and the crews will assemble a couple of fittings for practice. Togaro will be on site during the installation process for advice. Thank you for your time. Please do not hesitate to contact us for more information on Tokerope's ACFR conductors.